Hello ladies and gentlemen, Chris here with a follow up to one of my previous videos. In that video I showed a totally free CutCam workflow. You can find a link to the video on a card in the upper right corner. CatCam nowadays is the most common way to generate instructions for computer controlled production machines, such as mills and lathes. Devices like the Shipoko, which is a CNC controlled router and in a way also 3D printers made this process popular in the maker community. And since most of us don't have a few thousand bucks to shell out for a professional cut cam tool, I'd like to take a look at two free tools you can use and compare them side by side. Namely Fusion 360 and FreeCut. In order to show you a fair comparison of these two tools, I created programs for the same parts in both systems. But first, let's have a look at these two systems. Fusion 360 is without a doubt the more popular of these two packages. It is provided by Autodesk, which is a huge company with a long history in making CAD packages. Therefore, Fusion 360 looks and feels a lot more streamlined than FreeCut. In terms of usability and features, it is on par with a lot of commercial packages out there and you don't even need to pay for it. At the time of recording this video, Autodesk offers a free 3 year license for students and a 1 year license for startups and hobbyists who have a revenue of less than 100,000 US dollars. You can renew this license each year. This can change quite fast though, therefore you're kind of reliant on the mercy of Autodesk. There is also another drawback, at least in my book. Fusion 360 is heavily coupled to the cloud. It automatically uploads your design to the Autodesk servers as you save them. You of course can export them to your local drive, but Autodesk will keep a copy for you. On the pro side, I need to admit that it blows FreeCut out of the water in terms of usability, efficiency and also stability. FreeCut, on the other hand, is an open source project. It is the most capable open source alternative you got in terms of CAD packages. It is not a system you can compare to industrial packages though. Even the maintainer warns on the download page that it probably is not ready for production use yet. But the project is under heavy development and gets better with every release. And since it is open source, it has modules for lots of different use cases. For example, the path module just had been added in with the version 0.16 and had gotten a lot more capable in 0.17, which is not even out yet. With all the open source goodness, it brings some drawbacks as well. A lot of them due to the fact that it still is a pretty young project, which tries to be suitable for a lot of different tasks. Therefore, the interaction with the software feels clunky at times, or it crashes on you for no apparent reason. I, for my part, wouldn't use this system in a production environment either, but the work put into FreeCut is pretty incredible. If the software keeps getting better with this base, it could be usable for production not far from now. It certainly is usable for hobbyists if you are a little tolerant to frustration. But enough of the kind words, let's come to the reason why you clicked on this video. I compared the CAM components of both packages by using a simple model from a project I did some time ago. The CAD file is created using FreeCut and then imported to Fusion in order to make for an even comparison. Let's start with Fusion. As mentioned before, Fusion feels very polished, even the CAM module. You don't need to be an expert in this field to operate the program properly. It guides you through the process nice and easy. You get an interactive graphic representation of the stock material which makes it very easy to visualize your settings after editing some basic process and cutting parameters of which most have sensible default values, you are pretty much good to go. It also provides a decent sized tool library out of the box and the actual tool path generation is especially easy. With parts which are as simple as this one, you don't even need to select any milling surfaces. 
you just use one of the contour milling operations and let the program rip. That worked out really well in this example. Things are a little bit different on the side of Freeka. As I mentioned, I used an unfinished build of FreeCut 0.17 from Git. Therefore, I can't judge the stability and the polish of certain features. But I managed to get the job done. I for sure needed a few more trial and error loops, but in the end it produced similar enough cheat code. As of now, it does lack some quite essential features, like a working tool library or stock simulation. These features seem to be already in development though. Maybe not all of them will land fully fleshed out in 0.17, but that project is the most likely one to provide us with a usable open source cam tool. As you can see on the footage, it took quite a bit more work and time in order to accomplish the same tasks using open source tools, but it can be done nevertheless. At least for the case of reasonably simple 2.5D operations. If you intend to make anything more complex than that, I would not recommend using FreeCAD. But I surely hope I can change that statement in the near future. This test showed that it takes about 63% longer to get the same result using FreeCAD. That figure seems to be consistent for simple projects. As your projects get more complicated, you will see the difference getting even bigger. But feel free to test the programs for yourself and use the one whichever fits your needs the best. Thanks for watching.